Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review the Swedish slasher, Blood Runs Cold. This kill is cold as ice. Directed by Sonia Laguna, starring Hannah Oldenburg and Patrick Sachs, Blood Runs Cold is about a musician who needs some alone time in the woods, who ends up at the home of an axe-wielding maniac. We're doing this film as a request from Lakin Carlson, who won our 2500 subscriber contest and he wanted us to do it and include drunk Colin as the central host so <laughs> congratulations this is for you so what do we like about this I want to start off with how badass the killer was he looked like a miner that had frostbite with some awesome goggles on this guy could clearly be a character in Borderlands except he would melt immediately yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like this killer like he didn't mess around like he got straight to the point like whether it was like slashing people or stabbing them it was like you're done next guy let's move on he also toyed with them, which was really cool. Probably the best scene in this entire film is when he cuts the power, and it's that buildup of her turning the lights on, and we just see him scream right at her. Like, all of us jumped out of our seats. Being the badass killer he was, he even just, like, points at characters like, you. <laughs> you, I'm gonna fuck you up. I really enjoyed when the killer was killing the victims here, they sped up his motions and changed the frame rate. It just gave him that more psychotic, crazy feel. It looked really cool. I really enjoyed the gore in this film. We got there's a lot of stabbings, especially because the weapon would go in and then it would come out and just blood would just gush out. The one thing I loved particularly was the decapitation. The axe came down, just sliced the head off. And we were all like, holy crap, we all just yelled out the screen. It was one of the best decapitations we've seen on this entire show. And it was just the gore it was unbelievable and nothing we've seen before. For yeah. such a low budget film this was, I love that we could tell that it wasn't really CG. All the gore looked very practical. It was just very well done. The budget for this film was $5,000, which is very, very impressive. Considering that this was a really short film at only like an hour and 17 minutes, the pacing was fantastic. It was kind of a slow burn for about 20 minutes, and then it didn't stop. And then like, the last half of the movie was basically a big cat and mouse game. There was never a dull moment whatsoever. We almost had like a shining moment where she was locked in her bedroom and the killer was trying to use an axe and like get in the door. I almost thought like, I was expecting like a here is Johnny moment. Even though we had the slow burn at the beginning, I like the tension that was built up through the use of music with the radio playing and the fact that they didn't shy from showing us the killer going through the doors and then when the characters look, he's gone right then and there. It's just like that chilling like goosebump moment when you're like, wow, that guy was like feet from that person and now he's not and they didn't even realize it. So what didn't we like? One of the main things that I didn't like was is kind of nitpicky. A lot of the cinematography was a little shoddy considering there is maybe like 70% Dutch angles. They did it a little bit better than we see in a lot of these films, but it was still way overused and completely unnecessary. I wasn't a big fan of Hannah Oldenburg. She didn't act as good as I thought she could have. With her reactions and how she didn't really scream that well, I found it was very under-enthusiastic. Considering the situation and the amount of friends that have died in her recent past, she <laughs> should be a lot more fucked up. Be more afraid. Now, like, she seemed too okay with the situation. Even when she stumbled upon her friends who had been sliced up and like decapitated and ripped apart, she found them and were just like, whoa, that's really weird. Like, okay, now I need to deal with this and fight the killer. It wasn't like she had like any freak out moment or like moment of like, holy crap, this is real. Like, this isn't just like a killer that's attacked me, he's attacked my friends. Yeah, like it just wasn't believable. That I didn't like how the killer was introduced. We're showing with some random guy lost in the woods and the killer just comes across and kills him. And then it kind of ends with there. It doesn't add to any of the backstory as to how the killer became who he was. I would have rather it started with Winona. We didn't really need that whole introductory kill. I really would have liked to have some kind of explanation as to why he was what he was. Like, was he supernatural? Was he undead? Was he human? And considering they spent so much time with Winona's character going through all these, like, caverns and all these different rooms, why not just have an insert of a scene like, oh, what's this article? Man freezes to death. I like, was just gonna say that. Like, perfect, there, I would be happy. That takes five seconds. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. I really enjoyed Blood Runs Cold. I thought the killer was actually very unique. 
and his kills were very well done. Other than his very last kill, I thought he did an excellent job. He could have done a very well job, just like sweep this family and move on to the next one. I thought the gore was great, I thought the lighting was excellent, I thought the music was pretty cool. And the thing I loved most of all was the killer's makeup. I thought it was great that he was all masked up and we couldn't really tell where he was from or even his origin story. So with all that said, I'm gonna have to give this four big ass glasses of wine out of five. I love that you said, he could have just sweep the sweep, family. Sweep the family. <laughs> There's no, no family. family. I thought this movie was pretty solid. The killer was really unique and so creepy. And it was really cool that he made himself aware in every situation. I loved the pacing of this film. I thought the chase scene at the very end was phenomenal. And I think it was really, really solid considering it was done on a $5,000 budget. So I'm going to give this three and a half candles I thought were electric out of five. Blood Runs cold had my blood running fast. This movie had a really good pace to it, some awesome intense moments, and a killer who was just a pure gangster from beginning to end. The kills were awesome and I really enjoyed this film. Though I didn't really enjoy the acting, I felt that the characters weren't that believable when they delivered their lines and their reactions, so that kind of took me out of the film. With that being said, I'm going to give this Three and a half finger foods out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your favorite Swedish film. We stumbled upon like a shit ton of cool looking Swedish films on IMDb. So if you know of any, or maybe even foreign films, I know we saw Harpooned, which is pretty cool. Or old school, Skeleton Crew, Norwegian. Yeah, give us some of these like Swedish, Norwegian kind of films in the comments. And once again, thank you Lakin Carlson for supporting our channel, for always commenting, and congratulations on winning. Thanks again guys.